Hey, what's going on? You know what it is, man. It's Mr. Howard 413, the Juice Box Podcast. We are back for another one. We got some good people in the building. Let me make sure I say your name right. I got my own special name. It's Anna Maris. Anna Maris. Anna Maris. <laughs> Anna Maris in the building. And y'all know who it is, man. My boy Jay. Back for another one from the Real Creatives. From, from the Jay. Oh, what is it? Inspired? Oh, all day. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Advice by advice by Jay. Advice from Jay. Advice from Jay. (laughs) (laughs) Advice from Jay. Make sure y'all check his YouTube out. You know everything he got going on, bringing good words to the world. All right, man. So let's let's get into it. Let's get to know Anna first. First. Tell me, uh, tell the people a little bit about who you are, what you do, where you're from, what's your nationality, where you get the red hair from. OMG. Did you buy it like that? <laughs> no, it's not bought. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just lighten it up. No, 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 no. That's what's up. <laughs> so my name is Anna Maris. Um, usually people call me Anna for short. Um, I am Puerto Rican. Yes, I do look gringa. <laughs> um, I am a mother. And I work in the medical field, and also I've been get stepping more into modeling. Nice. And another project that I'm working, but I'm silent about it because you know that evil eye. <laughs> What's the evil eye? Uh, well, because when you're working on something and you uh-huh. speak about it, then people that are watching you, you know, Ooh. they're probably throwing you off that negative vibe. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm an empath, so I feel it. Yeah. You what? I'm an empath. What the, what that mean? So an empath is a person that reads energy. Oh like, shit! <laughs> no worries, you guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> um, when I walk in a room, like I feel people's vibes. You know, sometimes I grew up in uh in some toxic and abusive ways that I didn't see what was toxic and what was neg- positive until my adulthood. Okay. You know, everything that I was attracting was because I was still, part of me was still living in the past, mm. you know, thinking about um, how I grew up and what I went through. And then, you know, now, like, I'm getting out of my cocoon because gotcha. I was so shy. Like, being in front of a camera right now, mm-hmm. I wouldn't even be here. Trust right, me. Right, right. People say that, oh, you look strong. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very, like, a mushy mushy on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so... Tell us a little bit about what's a, it's a what is it called an empath? Empath. Yeah. All right. So empathic. Empathic. So what is that? All right. So bring us back to the moment when you realize like that's what you real. What you probably didn't know it before. No, I mean, I you probably didn't know the word before you knew the. I didn't know like yeah. the word or what it meant because on the <clears throat> inside I was feeling different. Mm. But on the outside, I was portraying the strong female, you know, I was more on my masculine side. Like, mm. I don't give a fuck about that, yeah. you know, and now I, I grew up in the hood. So people <laughs> see me like, oh, you too hood. Right, right, right. <laughs> and it's right. not that. It's just that I'm, I like being me. I'm very outspoken and, you know, I say how I feel. And yeah, sometimes it may sound rude and yeah. out there for people, but it's the perspective of their mentality versus mine, you know? Mm. All right, so well, did you notice it, like, when you was a little girl or, like... Oh, no. Funny story is that when I turned 34... What, last um, year? No. Oh, okay. No, I just turned 40. You just turned 40? Ah. Oh, <laughs> for that. 40 looking like the new 20s out here. What y'all 20 years old doing? Stop playing. So, after my 34 years old, um, I went to a major breakup. And I, even though I cried it out or whatever, I was talking to myself. People think that when you talk to yourself, it's some type of like insanity thing, but it's not. It's Mm. you're talking to your spirit, you know, on the inside of you. So when I was telling myself, my Jay, like that, what the fuck is Jay? Like, I'm not crazy. I've been talking to my spirit. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with you, girl? Like, you're attracting so many fucking toxic men. Mm. But not the not only that, as they were teaching me a lesson, I was teaching them a lesson. Because I'm not an easy 
woman to deal with, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I see something that I don't like, I'm going to call you out. Right, you know, right. I used to be, um, my son's dad one time told, his friend has said, oh, she sounds like your mama. Uh-huh. So when he had told me in an argument, I was like, well, tell your motherfucking fl- um, um, friends that if they don't have a freaking girl in their life, a woman that mm, cares for them, that because, part. you know, some of these women are portraying to be a good woman, but are your actions showing that? Right, right, Because right. one thing is saying that you are a good woman, and another thing is how you act. Super you know? facts. Because we all have toxic ways, you know? Right. There's nobody saying this like, <laughs> <laughs> but right. God. So what's one of those, like, give us, like, can you read my energy right now? No, you know, I'm getting more in my craft. Okay, okay. Good. I feel <clears throat> good. It's good vibes. Yeah. What about his energy? Are you nervous? No. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm absorbing everything. Okay. Talk, talk into the I'm mic. I'm absorbing everything. <laughs> he's mellow. He's mellow. He's mellow. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, are, were you, are you scared of it? To be honest with you, at first, when I didn't know what was going on, I reached out to, um, on YouTube, Tarot kept on calling me. Who? The Tarot. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, tarot cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm like, what the heck is that? And then, out of nowhere in the street, I would say, see a sign. And then, every time I was coming back from my fashion model shows... On the airplane, somebody from Christianity would come up to me and tell me, you know, God is calling you. And that creeped me out because I was praying on the way to the, when I got to the airplane, I was praying, you know, that I'm going to go knock every door everywhere that I wanted to do when I was young. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it now because if it opens one door, that's going to be, you know, freedom for me and my lineage my kids to have new experiences. And, you know, it's just that I thought the people that were going to be there for me weren't, you know, they showed me like, Oh, you're too much. Or you think you're all that, or you just, um, making once it you, just to show off. When, once you started like stepping into, out of your like shyness and yes. your insecurities, you kind of started like, yes. I mean, at the someone's... beginning I was still feeling jittery. You know, when you're yeah. on the inside, you, you're like trembling, but on the outside, you don't want to show yeah, it. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. how I felt at first. And I was like, oh. and then I kept on like stuttering my words because mm. when I was younger, I used to stutter a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get, yeah. how you come out of that? Cause I heard a lot of stories about people who stutter can actually, like break out of that like it's a thing that you they can, can actually sometimes it's just like uh <clears throat> it's when your your fears are so big that yeah. it come uh. that comes out of a pattern so of an emotion that you feel <clears throat> but it wasn't so much stuttering it was just that i was so shy and yeah. to speak up i was speaking low and mm. timid so you people could tell that i was like very shy yeah so then, are you shy jay no, I'm, I'm just. I'm just. Or you listening. just be in your own world. <laughs> I'm in my own world. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> no, I think everybody at first is shy. I mean, depending I'm, what type of soul you have, because I've never seen such negativity since in the not so long. You know. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But after, like I said, 34 years old, I started having dreams, and I didn't know what was going on. So I started asking family, and nobody wanted to tell me. So then I came across somebody that I know a little bit about the family and that was telling me that I, there is some stuff that I'm going to remember that I'm ready now versus before. Because witchcraft was involved. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Somebody, so you went to your family asking about, like, <clears throat> what is this? And somebody, like, what am I remembering? You know, did this happen? Because, you know, not everybody in remember since they were, like, six, five yeah. years old, and I remember when mm. I was really young. And I always felt like I didn't grow up too much. I grew up in my family, but during the summer times, I was always sent to Puerto Rico. Okay. And I didn't have that closure with my siblings, but even though we grew up together because we were always together, my mm. mom, barely never didn't let me go out to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so... Every every summer, I was going to PR and just spend vacations over there be, be between two families. And, like, to my siblings, they probably thought, like, I was being favored. But at the same time, I felt alone because I didn't grow up 
you know, with that summer with them. Right, I right, wasn't right. with them spending time as family. So you were like so the I sibling felt like that the came out in. of the family. Yeah. Even though that sometimes people say that they felt, you know, odd. But I felt like odd. And then I started remembering like um when I seen like uh my grandpa's spirit, like I was telling you. And you, you said, my grandmother. You, you saw spirit. your grandparents' spirit? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> People are not going to well, believe where? me, but I know I, what I've seen. I, I believe you. Oh, but where? Was, like, what, tell, us some, Puerto Rico. tell us about that. So I was probably like eight or nine years old. And I was, um, it was, how do you call it, Campo? It's all natural, like, like nature. Okay. So that's how deep my grandmother used to live. Mm. And. There, well, I used to go every summer after I used to finish with my that side of the family. <clears throat> I would go there, and it was so peaceful. So one time I was sleeping in the living room, living room or a room. And then I got up in very early in the morning, and I seen it. And I was like, what the heck is what'd that? What did you see? A, a gentleman dressed in white with a hat, white, with a hat, with a Puerto Rican sombrero usually they wear. Yeah. And then when I, I walked on my grandma, I'm like, what the heck is that in the room? <laughs> and how old were you? She was like, I was probably like eight or nine. Yeah. I'm not sure. And then um, she kept on telling me, she's like, oh, how he was dressed. So I described him. Yeah. And she started laughing. She's like, oh, that's your grandfather. He died here. What? And I'm like, huh? What? Why am I seeing that? <laughs> yeah. So, that's you know, wild. as a little girl, I didn't know much because <clears throat> even... My parents and they were in no um they didn't go to church you know right. so but I was always around it I surrounded be, people that used to go to church yeah, yeah, so yeah. I would go and attend church so that calling was always calling me mm. so then after that I think I blocked it and then after my after my thirty fives is when I started remembering but I really have to like meditate and be centered with myself because if your chakras are not aligned, yeah, you're not, you're still going to be on the same circle. Mm. It's like, um, like they call it the matrix. Yeah. yeah, yeah so you're stuck yeah. in the matrix and you're, you're going to keep on repeating that cycle until yeah. you learn how to get out of it. Mm. Yeah. You know what? I think our chakras are most in line. When do you, when do you think? I think that we're all connected to the earth. Yeah. Cause if you think about yeah. dirt, Dirt had well, every single human we got like iron and all kinds of elements inside of us. Mm-hmm. So, if you think about it, we get buried in dirt, mm-hmm. dirt comes from trees, leaves. It's like everything's connected, yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. That's true. Like, if you walk on the ground and bare feet, 100% grass or sun, you could feel that. Do you feel yeah. the vibration? Yeah. It's so crazy. Oh, I was at. I learned that. I love it. I love that shit too. I love nature and I love water and I love the earth. I love grass, even though I get allergic sometimes. But um, <laughs> I was like at a cookout with my family, and I was the only one. Like we were at, I think we were at like Blunt Park. No, not Blunt Park, Forest Park or something. And we were all like having fun, and I just had my shoes off, and it was just like planting my feet in the ground. And then all of my family was like, "Like, well, look at Chris with his shoes <laughs> off, like that." And then one of my cousins was like, I bet that felt good, don't it? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like, you can, if you really think about it as you're doing it, you can feel the energy from the earth, yes. like, creeping through your body, like, you belong there. And when you start talking about <clears throat> it, a lot of people don't even understand what you're saying. Yeah, so a lot of people So they start either are, mocking or laughing. The aliens. Like, Remember the aliens? Yeah. The aliens? <laughs> I missed that. What happened? So our boy, my boy E-Money, he was talking about how people, he said... He's from um, Egypt. Egypt? Yeah, so he's well, like, he's there. very like spiritual as well. And he well, was just explaining. Why? It's hot, I right? Oh, but it's so beautiful. Though. I want to see yeah. the so pyramids. He was just saying how some people are aliens. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but the way he broke it down, I understood. But like, you know, like some people are just like not in tune with life, right? They're just like here. It's because they're looking for God outside of them, instead mm. of looking instead of looking within. Oof. Yeah. You have to, like, believe it or not, when you close your eyes and you go to sleep, are you just wandering and tiring your mind until you go to bed, mm. or are you actually closing your eyes and looking to see if you see something? Yeah. You know, so when you meditate, 
like this is a big hard thing for me because I was always scared of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to stay. Well, if you seen your grandparents at eight years old, I'll be scared of the dark too. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and if- then like sometimes I feel like I think I have ADHD because <laughs> either yeah. I'm too hyper and then I'm like so down and I'm like, oh. So I think let me not, not to cut you off. Thing. ADHD and all of those things, I think those are just labels. It is labels. Like, yeah. I feel like every human has those things. Like, yes. but they want to label it to heighten it. But like, it's a vibration. Yeah, because... no one is ever just even killed. Like, some people are high, some people are low, some people are, are ranch. They just, you know, but I hate labels. <laughs> I hate labels. Yeah, dude. true. True. I do. I do too. <laughs> but um, you feel. They say that it's ADHD or schizophrenic or whatever, yeah. whatever. And in reality is your energy leveling to the energy that's around you. Because if you're around negative people yeah. and um, that's all you surround yourself, well, your energy is going to drop mm. and you're going to stay in the negative until you notice the patterns. Right, right, And then you right. surround yourself around positive people that 100%. are millionaires, that got that mindset mm-hmm. and they're encouraging you, even if it's just by the little advice, you know, doesn't mean handing you something, but people don't even see that, you know. Yeah. So it's crazy, like when you start really. And it's happening. crazy how school doesn't teach anything about life. No, life is school. Oh, they don't. They teach you Ooh, how to be. Hold a on. Life is school. She be remixing over here. <laughs> I said school don't teach you nothing about life, and she said life is school. That's a T-shirt right there. We gotta come like, up with those T-shirts. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you consider yourself that you're knowledgeable because you have a degree or Hell because no. you don't you don't need a degree? Hell no. No, you don't need a degree to prove success in my opinion. It's just like a it's like a trophy pretty much. Like look what mm. I accomplished type of deal. But in reality, you can be a super TikTok star and make a billion <laughs> while yep. that other guy exactly. got college debt and all kinds of stuff. You know what that be. is? Energy. Yes. Right. Like that's yes. all it is. Like they energy. don't have their like their energy controlled. So they just go and be themselves. And yep. what's more richer than being yourself? Exactly. Oh, let me get one. <laughs> <laughs> what's more richer than being yourself? hundred percent. You guys hate people who like complain about life but then they don't put in the work yes. all the time. Yes. Like yeah. how can you say, Oh my god, I'm broke? Yeah. What the heck are you calling to yourself? You're right. calling brokenness to your life. 100%. Like, okay, everybody deals with hardship, but okay, this is going to pass. You know, this is going to get better. Yeah. Something positive so that you're calling positivity into, your si- into yourself when you're feeling negative. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to hear negative stories. Like, yeah. I don't even want to hear, like, I never see nothing negative until somebody brings it to me. Yeah, like, or when you're with somebody and all yeah. of a sudden they start talking about somebody else. That yeah. shit irritates me now. I'm just like, like I don't, before, I don't hear that shit. I, like in the past, I would entertain it just yeah. to get information right, right, because right. then uh, when I'm uh, around the same um, people, then mm-hmm. I'll be like, oh, he has her. So, so what do you do? Hypocrites. Do you be rude? Like for me, sometimes I get irritated. Like I, I act like I care. Like, oh, yeah. But like, I don't no, want to even I care can't. about that shit. Do you so do you get, do, is it rude Hello, to be? do you see my face? Is it I rude to be it? like that? Yeah. No, you're just being you. You're being real. Yeah. Because people are accustomed to accept disrespect and fakeness yeah, instead yeah. of being real. Yeah, we all messed up. We all fuck up in life. But, but then why accountability, is, accountability yeah. and taking responsibility for your actions. But why is it always like, oh, you think you better? Like, exactly. I hate that I shit. That. Like, that's what I hate too. Everybody, oh, you think you're better than me? Nobody said right. I'm better than right. anybody. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Something like, that's going well for you yeah. instead of it wishing you well or trying to support you and you know turn share you on just yeah. by sharing your post or something. Yeah. No, it's just a hate. Like, why? If yeah. you have a dream, then go for it. Go for it. What is stopping you? Yeah. Your mentality. And people will hate you just for doing you. Yes. Like what? That's so crazy to me. And like. I've I've noticed that and now <laughs> I accept it because maybe like people have like attitudes with me and for no reason and they'll be like, Oh, I understand what's going on. You're oh. hating me because I'm just over here yeah. doing me. I literally didn't do anything to you. Oh wow. I'm just doing me. Because you're a mirror. Yes. Oh yeah, I can be <gasps> 
think they are. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, we're just like, we're talking. Chilling. Right, you can wow. feel the energy. Like, somebody's going to talk shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they wish yeah. they were in that spot. If you want to, then put in the damn word. That's exactly. it. Exactly. And I tell because people now. consistency is key. Right. Mm, we were just talking about that outside. Literally, yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally consistency yeah. is key. So all you haters, whatever you want to do, <laughs> just keep doing it. You don't have to hate. The hate is stopping you from being yes. great. Whatever it is you want to do, do it. If you see us doing a podcast and you want to do a podcast, it's okay. Go do a a podcast. You might have something to talk about that we're not talking about. You know, we might watch your podcast. We're not going to hate. We're going to say, oh, yo, I literally never hated on anyone. Me either. Like, if anything, I'm like, damn, yo, that's fire. I want to do that. And I think if I was... Not to call it hey, but if I had a little bit envy with um growing up with a being as a female. But I mean that's that's when you didn't know relationship yeah. of a mother daughter that my friends had. But I oh could, yeah, that's natural. I didn't have too much with my mom because you know us Latinas are like yeah mom. yeah that's natural. But that's Stubborn. that's that's something natural. Like you know that's not like that's not like you having a green shirt on. And you got red hair. And I'm like, oh, she fucking got red hair. I wanted red hair all my oh, life. Yeah. You know, it's just like, dude, you don't have to go get a fucking wig or something. And, <laughs> like, it might not be real, but fucking you can do whatever you want to do, man. It doesn't it doesn't have to be hate on this earth, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And the more you look into it, there's a lot of negativity and hate. Like, why? Yeah. I don't get it. I know why, because... Like we were just talking about, we if you put in the work, you got to get what you get. If you don't put in the work, you're not. And what I was going to also say is every day, right? Y'all y'all watching the camera, every day, the same 24 hours. We all yes. got the same, same 24 hours of the day. Yes. If you walk by every day, okay, yeah. that's your life. You want to keep smoking or doing whatever. But my life, I'm going to bust my ass. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work. I'm going to keep putting the work, make connections and all the energy I put out. It's going to be positive because I want to treat others the way I want to be treated. And I don't want negative karma coming back to me. Like if you're out there robbing or whatever, you're going to get some energy coming back to you. That part. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but it's going to come. That part. And the person you hate on is like, they're more stressed 10 times more than what you are. Like you have no stress in your life. (laughs) I'm actually hating on the hater because (laughs) you guys don't have... No that stress. Has so much energy to no, have. Oh my like, why? Gosh. Why will you stalk somebody on social media if you don't like them? Like, why? Oh, that part. Like, I would not care. Like, yeah. no. Why? I don't get it. Yeah. And I still see like a bunch of others on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And on my Facebook, can you please share the <laughs> names of the others? <laughs> right, 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 right. What the hell is that? Yo, that <laughs> Facebook knows. That stalking energy could have been put to use to be an IT technician. See, uh, yeah. see? Oh. put you on the game. See, see, see. Have you ever been a stalker? No. Why? No? Why be a stalker, though? You never been a stalker? No, you never stalked no. anyone? Never in my you, life. You ain't never stalked <laughs> no. none of your baby daddies. Y'all, what? Yo, my <laughs> baby say, daddies what? could tell you. <laughs> One of my baby daddies once time told me after we broke up, why you never came back, like, forgave me or mm-hmm. chased for me. And I'm like, because I don't chase men. Mm. I'm like. What makes you like I grew up in a home where women weren't appreciated. Mm. So what makes you think that I'm going to lower my standards because you don't love yourself? Right, right. Because some men don't love themselves. Mm, They'll try to they treat you like with the bare minimum that you allow them. Mm. Like, let's say if he's just single and he's just open relationships or whatever and meeting whoever he'll treat you like an option while, you know, dating others, not knowing that you might be the one. And then same thing for females. Mm. Why a female would say would talk to one guy and then talk to others? Because I have done it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the only difference is that when I'm in a relationship and I say that I'm talking to you and I'm interested in you, it's only you. I don't care yeah. who's, what other options there are, you know? Right, right, right. But I've seen other females that even if they're taken, they also go on the side. And I'm like, why? If you know you got a good man and yeah, and no man is going to be perfect. Right, They right. all have flaws, just like women have flaws. 100%. But why not, you know, grow together instead of, oh, let me see what you have and what I have. Because it's convenience. Right, right, Now right. they made it like, it's a convenient. What can you do for me? No. Yeah, yeah, It shouldn't yeah. be like that. So where, <clears throat> where do you think your relationships failed? Mine, I think because I had daddy issues. 
You had daddy issues? Yeah. Um, How does that correlate? What do you think? Like, what is that? Well, daddy issues because <clears throat> um, we grew up in a home together, but my parents were more focused on working and making mm. ends meet, you know, to provide for the home. But yeah. I saw my mom doing more of the hard work. So in my head, I was already growing up and not my parents didn't even talk. We didn't have like no normal conversations how I do with my kids yeah. to tell me when they're um, upset. So or do you happy. think you think they weren't they weren't in love? They were just raising you guys. Um, I think they were together. They probably was some love, but to me, in my eyes, they were toxic to each other. Uh-huh. You know, it shouldn't be when you're together in a relationship. It's partner up and girl together, mm. not tear each other apart or disrespect each other. You know, yeah. so. Me seeing that disrespect, you know, I grew a little bit of hate for men, you Mm -hmm. know, and every guy that I used to date, even though I was with them and I was observing for any little thing, you know, so, (laughs) and, you know. So do you think. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) So do you think, all right, so we're talking energy, right? Yep. So do you think <laughs> Jay's funny as hell? His facial expressions. Laughing, Jay. He be he be having facial expressions and he don't have to say <laughs> nothing. He just says it with his yeah, face. Because y'all be hitting me with like these uh, topics are interesting. So I'm since I'm a Gemini, like knowledge is like, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, wow. okay. Gotcha. I'm over here like in a candy store in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so do you all right, we're talking energy, right? So you see your father. And your father turns you off from men. So now you're looking at all men the same, right? So yep. do, do you think you go into these relationships with that negative energy that kind of like attracts yeah, I was. that? I was. Okay. To be honest with you, yeah, I yeah. was. I was because from my first relationship, um, it was cheating and it was a suspect. So I was like, after that, I kind of... Not turned bad, but I had more of my attitude and I was very yeah. mouthy. So the <laughs> the next guy <laughs> will even hear me more. Uh, and not in a bad way because I was never physical or, or abusive. It's just that, you know, if you want to be chilling in the streets, then yeah. you should stay single. Mm. But if we're going to live together and grow together, you're not going to be fucking treating me like I'm your girlfriend. And you're just going to come whenever the hell you want at yeah, home. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. come on. But <clears throat> at the same time, I wasn't the type of being jealous, like... If when I would find out the guy was cheating, then I would get confrontational, you know. But yeah. you know, I would let it go. I'm one that I rather let go, suffer in silence, and move on mm. instead of begging. And no, why? Yeah, yeah. Why beg when I know what I deserve? Why beg a man to be here when mentally he's probably either feeling something else or not ready, you know? Or maybe he's feeling your energy. Oh, I don't know. But not most men know about energy. Mm. Maybe the men that they you... They think they look at maybe it... Maybe the men that you dealt with, dealt yes. with. You know, they probably weren't in tune to I call energy. it boy mentality. Yeah. 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 But you didn't let them grow because you had a wall up. Right? So you had this... No. You had, no, no. So because they, I always... Okay, so the last... The only two relationships that I've been with, with which I have my kids, Yeah. Um, I was always open. Okay. And loving. But when I got to the point that I was already getting pissed, like I was repeating myself and I wasn't heard. Mm. So that's when legs were closed. Damn. Yep. And then the excuse, Mr. <laughs> excuse. <laughs> oh, you wasn't satisfying me. So why I you went. close the legs though? Was because, they cheating? Yeah, I knew it because oh, I'm intuitive. So, okay. So, oh shit! You know, and then it came out of his mouth, but I already knew it. So okay. I was waiting for him to open his mouth. See, you be waiting for stuff. Yeah, because That's I already know energy. it happens. So when you get, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> so when you get into your next relationship, do you know how to turn all of that off? Yes, when I go to now, not now, but soon, because I know I'm ready. God has been showing me okay. signs. I said I'm getting to that because I. I've been feeling in the past couple of weeks that the beginning of 2024, it's like towards the ending of my healing mm. um, because I was harboring a lot of anger and grudges inside. Okay. So I, will, I know I'm healing that part in order to recognize what certain man deserves my energy and my time. Okay. Get me? You got a picture of that man? Huh? 
No, but I had a dream. Oh, shit. I'm a seer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... um. He's Dominican, ain't he? No, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Oh. No, because I haven't... I haven't seen a phase. I only had a dream that I was laying on the chest of a man. That's all. And when I look up, I can't see the face. <laughs> it could have been Jesus. Huh? It could have been Jesus. On his chest, really? That's not sexual. <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't Jesus have his chest out when he was outside? Oh, I'm Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what is our, what is that perfect man for Anna? It's not perfect because nobody's perfect, you know. But for you, perfect. for you, like what is he's gonna need to understand me and understand that I'm not always gonna be, you know, this happy person. I'm yeah. gonna have my mood swings where I'm gonna be quiet and I'm just gonna be up my day, but I'm gonna be respectfully responding to him or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But like, I don't wanna be that past me that I was always afraid and thinking, oh my god, he's probably fucking gonna turn another bitch. I don't um, think that's ever gonna leave you, huh? I don't think that's ever gonna leave. Yeah, I will. All right, that's because I don't like when guys try to talk to me. You know, I try to listen, but I already know they're. <laughs> Which I know what you're listening for the yeah, red flag. Exactly. <laughs> no, because I by me talking or speaking to that person or even chatting, I know if they're coming with good intentions or not. Gotcha. So if you're already coming, like, oh, how you doing, beautiful? Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Like, I just want to get in my pants. I know. See, why can't you just be beautiful, though? Yo, yeah, it's, I know. There's so many girls up north that's no. like that. Hold on. It's a lot of females oh, up geez. north that's like that. You can hold a door for a girl. I'm like, you look beautiful today. She's like, No, like, that damn, I would say yo. thank you. There, I know how about, what are you talking about? The yeah, you say thank that. you, but no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's how it is up north, yo. No, yeah, it's not. Hey. Why is it? No, you can't compare it with women the same. Most of them. No, because I would have. What's your experience with that? Uh, yo, you know what I want to know? How do you get a girl? How do you come on to a girl? Someone that you're interested in. He probably hasn't had a Latina yet. <laughs> the, your kid's mother, is she Latina? No. Okay. She's black? Yeah, like light skin. Light skin? Like my color. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll break it down. All right. No, don't break it down. Show me. Nah, Show me. just like. If you was interested in her, how would you get her? I mean, literally, I just. Nah, show me. Nope. Show me. <laughs> you're, you're on the spot right now. <laughs> OMG. Show me. What's your move? I mean, I don't have a move or none of that. I just okay. literally, usually, I mean, if I, I usually have a business card because it'd be better. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I walk right up and I say, hey, how you doing? My name is I don't ask her for her name. I don't, I don't need to even ask you for your number to show confidence. You oh, can that's take, good, you can have my like, number. Can I get your number? Yeah. yeah. They, co they go up to every girl. See, look at hey, what's wrong you doing? with that. Like that's yeah. how do how, yeah, she, look at the attitude. Listen. She just can Can I get your number? <laughs> like, oh, get out of my face. Like, yo, what is no, that? No, because those type of guys are like, <clears throat> can I have your number? There's a way to ask for a phone number. You know, like so, let's say if I'm in a bar, right? Yeah. And you come up to me and you're already sloppy drunk. But I'm not. Okay. You think I'm safety, but I'm not. And then you attitude come already. say, oh, what a woman. I always have attitude. <laughs> <laughs> then you say, oh, what a beautiful woman like you is doing here by yourself. And then so, I will be like, what do you need? Like, I will really literally ask you, how can I help you? So what is it? What is he supposed to say? What is it? How is it supposed to happen? But a hug man said here, you know, ask permission because what the hell told you to sit next to me? <laughs> <laughs> ask permission? Okay. I mean... For me, I think, I don't know, I'm different. I'm a, I'm a different breed type of woman. Like, yeah. I have standards for myself now that what I didn't have before. Like, before, if I was by myself, I was the only fucking flirt. Yeah. But I would never be that woman to be sleeping around. Yeah. If I had that friend with benefits, then yeah. that would be that motherfucker. And then flirting, whatever. Or mm -hmm. just talking, because just chatting is not flirting. People right, see right, it right. like, oh, you're talking to a million dudes. My no, because some of them just need that girl type of friend 100%. to answer, yeah. or give them advice or whatever, mm -hmm. or just to just have a laugh, you know. Yeah. But I so always, how do how does a man approach you and get you get you if he's interested? To me, just be right straight up. Don't fucking come he with your did. fucking. 
No. He was like, you're beautiful. Can you know? Depends, because I'm not every fucking guy comes to to up to a woman to say the same thing. They get tired of the compliments. Yeah. No, not really. Every, they do. They some do. Some of them do because they get so they get showered with so many comments every day. Facebook, TikTok, yeah. whatever. You're so beautiful. You're so, they're like, oh, come on, something original, something right. different. That's what they be wanting. To yeah, but I'd be like, yo, your forehead time. is shining so perfectly today. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Why would you say that? So, <laughs> what, what's supposed to happen? How does a man approach you the right way? Nothing. Or do you, just do be you, you just, just or do be you, you, or you, do you want us not to approach and until you give a sign? No, I don't give signs. Like you know? if I if I was to see you and I like you, then. Yeah. I'll probably look at you. Yeah. Or I'll go up to you and be like, hi, how you doing? Okay. Because I'm that type of female. Yeah. yeah if yeah. I like something, then I'll go for it. But I'd rather the guy come and reach out at me because I'm more old school. I'm okay. not going to be that female. I'll be like, yeah, she's going to be chasing that freaking man. Like, no, man. the woman attracts the man. 100%. But the woman also needs to work on herself because mm-hmm. if they don't love themselves within inside yeah yeah they're gonna, always gonna attract the same type of energy in a different body mm. so that's why i say self-love is very <clears throat> important i really didn't i really didn't take care of myself because i was always the family advocate that go-to person um to ask for help or mm. advice you know so i was while taking care about everybody else i forgot about myself you know mm. i stopped working out i stopped doing a lot of stuff for myself that um, now that I'm taking care of myself, I ended up not talking to a lot of people yeah. and I had to learn to be okay with that because I was always the one that I like to bring everybody together because I'm a family yeah. person, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like to have everybody together, but I learned that, well, now everybody has the same energy and Facts. 50 feet away. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> I know we was just talking about that outside, like how nowadays, like some people just don't even rock with their family. No. And it's sad right. because it shouldn't be like that, especially in the Spanish culture. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised mouth. at that. They're loud mouth and um, they don't see that disrespecting to each other. It hurts people's feelings. They don't see that when you hang around with a certain family member and you're talking about the other person, yeah. but then come around, hang out. Like, mm-hmm. you don't do that. Yeah, How yeah, about yeah. let's sit, sit down as a family. And say some, say your truth. Right, what right, bothers right. you? You know, let's move on from it because at the end of the day, we're still family. Yeah. Right. And I mean, whether you like it or not, I'm still gonna, you're still gonna see my face. Yeah. You know, and I'm not the one that, that in a family that I would hold a grudge towards people in my family that have talked about me because yeah. within the last two years, it's been crazy. I've yeah. heard a lot of shit. So <laughs> on that note, you know, I'd rather. I feel Keep like we have peace. the outcasts on the couch. Yeah. I feel like all three of us are family outcasts. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's how I feel. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know, I always <clears throat> pray and send that good vibe to them because they need to, one day they're going to, you know, realize, oh, yeah. what she told me was true. Two, two and a half years ago, I had two revelations. I had two dreams. I had a dream about a death with a white casket. And I woke up and I couldn't feel my throat. My throat was so hurting. Like, you know, when you're crying for hours. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what the heck was that? So I wrote it down because I had a journal. Yeah. Then six months to a year from that dream, I had another dream that a house was going to get raided. I literally saw the FBI. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, so I called my brothers. I'm like, yo, be careful. You know, mm-hmm. and I told my other brother, I hope you're not in the fucking street. Because, you know, I don't want you to see them in jail or whatever. And after stuff happened, the uh, death with my brother happened last year. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. And then a month after, my brother's house got raided. So I was like, fuck. Damn. So every time I have a dream, I was always warning my family and people that I knew because you never know who could it be. Yeah. You know, and, at the, and if God gave me this gift, then I want to help people. I don't want to, you know, I can't stay shut because... Yeah. Every time, every day I wake up, it's like the camera's calling me, you know, the mic, I bought, um, those wireless mics. Yeah. 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 I bought those and like the top is keep on popping on my head, you know, and I kept on seeing the videos on YouTube, you know, 
um, it's going to keep on calling you until you wake yeah. up and, you know, pick up the call. So <laughs> I was like, yes, I know. I got to do this. I got to do this. Because if I, if Did you, did you ever voice, talk to your brother after that? Like the one that he got raided? Or you kind of no. just was like. No. Yeah. I, we kind of got distanced because, you know, of disrespect and mentality of differences. So yeah. I just let it be. And. I pray that one day, you know, God opens their minds because... How many brothers and sisters you got? Um, the one you know that of. passed away was after me, and then my brother and my sister. So two left. When was the last time you talked to your brother and sister? Well, my sister, um, every so often, uh, my brother, uh, I think it's been a year. A year? Is he still locked up? No, he's not locked up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But You got brothers and sisters? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no? You're an only kid? Yeah, I'm an only kid. I feel like you got like 10 and you just don't want nothing to do with them. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have one, but like a half one, but I don't uh-huh. really consider it. Because it's just, if we don't got the same mom and dad, I don't really consider it. Do you have the same mom um, or same dad? The same mom. No, that's your brother, bro. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, I guess. That's your full brother. I got a brother, and we got the same mom. I got a brother and a sister Mm -hmm. that got the same mom and different dads. But I don't see them as a half-brother. I feel like if we had different mothers, Mm -hmm. then I would be like, okay, that's my half-brother. I just say that because I didn't grow up with that. Why is that? I don't know. Because mom is like the glue, right? And dad is like the one that just runs around, right? So Mm -hmm. if dad, like, so if mom, if we all came from mom, we're all like solid, but if Dad had one over here from another girl, then it's like, oh, that's the one that from over there. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's it just it just feels different. Are, is your your brother and sister got the same mother and father? Yeah, we all got yeah, the same mother and dad that I know of. Yeah, because <laughs> you never know that the part. Community. The secrets of the a secrets of the family. Yeah, yo, because the more I tap in, you know. The family's got secrets. Oh, yeah. Every family has secrets. Yeah. And, you know, if you know that a person is gifted, at some point they're going to wake up to the gift and God mm. is going to show them. Yeah. You know, it's like I was saying that um, that day that my brother was shot, that day I felt kind of sick. Like, I didn't want to do nothing. And so I finished cooking for the kids, and then I laid down on the sofa watching TV. That's wild. And then at nine something, my brother calls me. He tells me, no, no, I go call Bay State. So when I called Bay State, they were telling me that um, to call back or whatever. And then that's when my dad called me afterwards that they had shot my brother. He died. Damn. And I was like, fuck. I was like, I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. Damn. It was crazy that day. How old is he? How old was he? Um... Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, but did they catch the person who did it? That's a long story. Oh yeah, we're not gonna go there. Trust me, I know those things get crazy. They saying self-defense when that's uh, BS. Oh, uh, he was he was whooping somebody's ass. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Possibly. Because according to the guy, my brother was the abuser, and I was like, Yeah, motherfucker, if my brother was the abuser, you would have been the one dead. Yeah, like that mm-mm. part. That part. I'm like, but whatever. God is big and yes, sir. Shit will happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> so who who are you close with in your family? The closest with? Um, I feel like you don't hang with nobody, bro. Yeah, nah. I'm, You're a loner. Yeah, I'm a loner. Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> yeah, because because I've been through experience like what she was talking about heartbreak stuff. So after. Certain elements and certain situations happen with me and the baby moms. I was like, I can't trust nobody. Yeah. Because I ended up homeless and all that bullshit. So I was like, yeah, if I don't want to ever hit this again, I got to completely shut everything out and focus on what I'm doing. Yeah. Was it like the upbringing, the the heartbreak or the parents or? Um, Yeah. I, my parents, like my mother was never in my life like that, but my dad was around for a while. Mm. But I haven't talked to him in like oh years now. Years? Yeah. Where's your mom? Um, I have no idea. When was the last time you talked to her? Um, I 
think like high school. Mm. How long ago was that, bro? Like 2014. 2014? Or yeah, around there. You haven't talked to your mom since 2014. Well, I haven't. Yeah, probably longer than that. I mean, like as far as the interaction, yeah, like 2014. Yeah. Where is she? Like in the last time I seen her was Chicopee, but I have no idea. Because <laughs> I, I had to live my life. I had a kid and everything. I was like, I got I to gotta focus on what I got to do. So. so did you break yourself away from your mom or did you, they separate themselves from you? Or they separated it? themselves from me. Mm-hmm. And after a period of time, I separated myself from this person. Because I just, when you get to a point, like when you don't have a mother for a long time, you will experience emotions inside, deal with things mentally. You'll be like, 100%. like I had a problem with dating females for a long time yeah. because I would always try to date them to seek the love that I never had for my mother. 100%. That shit is crazy. Yes. So, yeah, man. That's what I'm I did. Sorry to hear that, man. Oh, that's... no, I'm good. I learned a lot. That's nah, the same thing I, that I happens can imagine when women you've... have daddy issues. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, seek yeah, that daddy thing. role yeah. in a man. Yeah. So, <clears throat> If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have no, to. Go ahead. But I'm trying to get an understanding, like what happened uh, between you and mom. Well, I was like adopted into my family by my grandma. Okay. So I didn't like go to the system or whatever kind of child. Okay. The fuck. Was there substances? With mom or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Enough said. That's why I didn't want to mention yeah. because I was like, that show be getting real. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, enough said. That that's uh, that's yeah, understandable. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's understandable. Um but since, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, do you feel like you've built yourself as a man now to the point where it's like, let me find mom and let me see if she needs me now? Mm. Or is that not in the plans? <laughs> that's not really in the plans for me but um you never know what could happen in life 100%. i don't hate my mother but i don't feel i have to interact with her because i've been taking care of myself now for, for almost a decade yeah because i signed my military contract at 17 so that's when i like started adulthood is that what led you to go to the military no, it led me to go in the military. My dad was in the military, so I was inspired by that. And then I just realized I was as you know how Springfield was back then. There wasn't a lot of stuff, so I was like, I can yeah. either go to college or go in the military. I was like, at least I'll get benefits in there, free medical, dental, all that while you're in there. So I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Well, I commend you. you I commend you for that. Salute, man. Absolutely. Um, um, so did you do you think that helped your mental or did it hurt? The army? Yeah. Oh <laughs> that shit hurt. That shit hurt. Yeah, because yeah. I lost friends in there and mm. it was at first I thought it was like the movies I got there, like, oh shit, okay, you know, I got the uniform on. I was like, okay, that's the cool part, but yeah. now you gotta earn the title, which is the hard part. Yeah. Yep. So it, it gave me, I, I got a lot of trauma from that situation because, you know, I had really good friends in there and, you know, we lost somebody who was really close to us and everybody just kind of went their separate ways after that. Were you, did you go to war or did you, how was it kind of like? Um, yeah, I joined. It's a top a secret. Time you during, can't. You can't talk about. That's not a top secret. All right, all right, all right, all right. I joined during a time of war, OEF Operation Enduring Freedom. Mm. There's like a bunch of them. There's like OIF, like Operation Iraqi Freedom, all that stuff. Mm. But yeah, I, I went to the Middle East for like seven months or some. Did certain jobs. And, oh and shit! Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't want to talk about it. Your face says some things when you, uh, <laughs> when you, uh, yeah, because there's just certain memories that I gotta live with, and they make me really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine, man. You've been through a lot just from those <laughs> those two stories, man. That's <laughs> that's a lot. I mean, we all have been through um some tragic shit. I had some. I don't even know how I smile. 
I don't even know how I at one time I couldn't walk. I was so um, really? I was so into depression that. that I wasn't able to physically walk. Wow. Like my girl would have to like hold me to teach me to walk around the corner and like like literally I wasn't like I wasn't even able to walk. Wow. And I had to dig myself out of that. So like you said, to ever go back to that point is just like I want to stay as far away from yeah. that point as possible. I never thought your that your emotions can cripple even you. Even recalling the memory, it's like you're going to feel the whole pain all over Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth yeah it. like my, my emotions was like crippling. Literally. Literally. It was crazy. But we all made it, you know, yes. so, to where we at now. And we done lost a lot of people and, you know, we have to be thankful of every single day. Yeah. I think that's why my tolerance for ignorance, bullshit, complaining, like there's, I have like that much for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not and even. the cutoff is really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Like, really quick. I hear gossip. I'm like, why you don't call that person? Yeah. And bring them here. Yeah. Because if you're not going to bring the person and talk to them right there yeah. and say what you feel. Don't throw your shit on up. me. Don't yeah. throw your shit like, on me. Like, I don't want to hear you dump. Because no, people don't will dump throw their shit. shit on you and then just keep yes. moving. Like, like you're a therapist. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, have yeah. you noticed yeah. when somebody's talking to you and they're telling you or complaining about something? Yeah. And then you feel like shit afterwards? Yo, like, that's damn, crazy. Damn, don't stop my fucking vibration. Yeah. Right. Energy vampires. Yeah. Energy right? vampires. Yes. Jeez. Energy vampires. I mean, see you looking That's good. Like, oh, I know if I chill with them, they got good energy. I'll feel better too. Like, exactly. yo, I earned this. You got to go through your karma. <laughs> yep. I yep. earned this energy. No, 100%. or have you heard of this? Like, um, if you have good energy and somebody blesses you, like, oh, here's this, you know, or here's a donation yeah. or whatever, they'll get blessed because if you're highly favored mm. by God, you're gonna get blessed too. That's a super bar. Your, your energy 100 so percent. that's why now i'm careful with who i connect yeah because even in my relationship like the dude they used to act weird like <laughs> psychos like come on yeah but i don't know maybe it's the redhead thing <laughs> <laughs> where do you find your men i don't know i met them in a weird way uh, online no 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 i'm not that type mm. no like uh, if a guy hits me up online, then I'll read it and then I won't respond. If I respond, I'm saying just thank you. But I think they're accustomed for a woman to just be like, hey, how are you? Yeah, and yeah, keep yeah. on conversation. I like, know. I read it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, what interests you in like any man that's. I, that now has- versus before. Before I used to go by like attraction like if chemistry or whatever now it's just more of your mentality where's your mentality at where are your goals mm-hmm. where do you see yourself growing because you know i'm not trying to stay in springfield mass 100 percent. right this is not the life 100 <laughs> percent. wow so like with you and the trauma that you've been through how's your relationship with you and your daughter um not great but good i guess and do you think, like, kind of like what happened with mom and dad is kind of like rubbed off on you? Not rubbed off on you, but like. Yeah, because for years, my dad always talked shit about my mother, like the situation, how bad to break. And then I noticed you, it literally hit me an epiphany like a few days ago. I was like, yo, I've been portraying this in my past relationships too. Mm. And like, I think it's true what people say. Sometimes us men take a little bit longer to mature because I think females <laughs> yeah. find that spirituality quicker. One hundred percent. Yeah. I'd be like, eh. I think <clears throat> I think men need trauma in order to like get to the spiritual you side. Think so? Hell yeah. It's like no, a, but I've, yeah. what I've experienced, <laughs> yeah. I think is men, I think we do, bro. I've, like, what I've experienced <clears throat> is that most men don't know their self worth, and or they have mommy issues because. But, if their mother didn't give them that love and that attention or whatever, mm-hmm. they're going to be looking for that in a woman. So yeah. if a certain woman has that characteristic in her, then he won't be just still with one woman. He'll go be jumping mm-hmm. with one woman until he <clears throat> stays by himself and he awakens him within himself yeah. to understand why he's doing what he's doing. Can he have, can he have multiple women if they agree? 
No. Yo. I'm not the type to be open relationship. Hell fucking no. Yo, at my 40-year-old, <laughs> I found out about um, open relationship when I was like 37. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because nah, I don't know. We just been we just talking about that. Like I seen that podcast. Yeah. Did, yeah. <clears throat> so you don't you don't think so, you would like, ever be? No, no, no. Why? No. It's just if it's just you and me, it's just you and me. No fucking third, no fourth. No, I'm, I don't share my meat. Oh, that no. part. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you want the woman to share her meat? Because I don't know. It goes both ways, you know. No, it don't. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, little. And, like, I mean, I had trauma. I feel like I've had trauma. Trauma's been started since, like, when I was a kid. Like, as soon as, like, I realized life, like, <sighs> when I was six years old, I came home from school and found my father dead. You know, so that's where mine yeah. started. Like, yeah. and then after that, it was just, like, boom, boom, boom. It was just, like the hell is this life so you have a special calling that's what i mean yeah and how you said you saw your grandparents i saw my dad mm-hmm. yeah but so i don't know if it was just it was like the same night right and so passed? yeah it was the same night so all right we had s- really close yeah hell yeah awesome. and how you said you remember things when you was a kid Yo, I remember, <laughs> all right, quick story. I remember my dad, right? I remember watching him playing basketball, right? But when I remember him playing basketball, I saw my feet, right? So remember this. Mm-hmm. So now when I got older and his friends, like, see me grow up, they're like, oh, you little Chris's son. Da, da. And I'm like, yeah, they was like, oh, your dad was so cool. He used to bring you everywhere. He used to bring you to the basketball court. And everything, right? So I'm like, I remember that. Oh, he liked basketball? Yeah, he was like, he used to play basketball. So he used to bring me to the basketball court in the baby carriage and sit me on the side of the court. Oh, hell no. So when, grew up right there. So when I was watching him, that, re- that means I remembered my dad when I was in my baby seat. Yeah. Because I saw my feet. And I was watching my dad going up and down the court, but I saw my feet That's cool. in the same picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I got older, I was like, oh, I wasn't crazy. I remember I was watching my dad, and I saw my feet as I'm watching him. It's like I was looking at my feet. You know how babies are in a yeah. baby seat, and their feet are hanging out? And I would just look at him go up and down the court, and I'm watching him. And then when they re- we, they confirmed that later on in life, I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, we were definitely close. But <clears throat> that same night when he passed, my mom was like, Go in your room and, like, grab your, like, covers and pillows so you can lay on the couch. Because I didn't want to sleep upstairs. Mm -hmm. And when I went to the bottom step, I looked up there, and he was sitting at the top in a robe and smiling at me. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then I ran back to my mom. I was like, I'm not going up there. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I'm not going up there. And I never told nobody, like. Did you tell her, though? No. I never told nobody. I saw my dad up there. Like, he had, like, the biggest smile and just was like. He's just letting you know that he's, yeah, that he's good. I was like, oh, shit. That's cool. Yeah. So maybe I have that special gift. Too. Do you guys believe yeah. in reincarnation? Cause, yes. Because people, you know, when you say they have like deja vu or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I felt like that. You feel like reincarnation is real. Huh. I think so. It's I've difficult stories, for me. I've heard stories that people remember like in a past life what they were or who they mm. were. You know, so I believe it. I don't know. So reincarnation is when they come back as something or somebody else? Yeah, like you. Like my dad could be like the skunk so like that was, say, I ran over no, or some shit. Let's say that you're you now, right? Right. But you start having dreams that in a past life you were either a medicine guy or you were an artist or mm. you were a writer. Then oh, okay, gotcha. You had that dream, you're like, oh, okay, that's another skill that I probably have in me. You know what I do feel? Sometimes it's very weird. When I'm with my son, I feel like I am my dad. And my son is me. Oh, wow. 
I feel that sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Because your dad is with you always. Yeah. Like, I don't That'd know if it's cool. the fact that, like, I always wanted to, like, hang out with my dad. When, my, when me and my son are hanging out. Yeah. It's like, I'm happy because I feel like, like that's were, me. Yeah, I'm like him. And I'm really my dad. Oh. And it's a weird feeling in that that, that kind of happens sometimes. I love you, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah. Um, life is weird. Life is different. It life is. is interesting. Life is painful. Life is life. Is life. It is. The book. Just huh? The book. Yes. The book. And everybody has a story. Yeah. And if people knew how like, to invest in their own stories, like everybody will have a creation. Because mm. people think that a job... It's just to help you get along. Like, no. If you really tap into yourself, you're going to you're gonna awaken to your gift. 100%. You're going to create what you're meant to create to progress you in life. Yeah. You know? I love that. I love that. I wish everybody can get to that part. Like, I don't know myself fully, but I know myself yeah. fully enough to not care what you think of me. Yeah. Because I know, like, I'm what matters to me. Yeah. Like, you're, what you feel about me doesn't matter. Like what See, I got to that point now. Yeah, what I, I used to, I used to get bothered, and if I used to hear my name being brought in gossip mm-hmm. or whatever, I'll go confront the person. Yeah, it's still, it's still <laughs> hard. It is still like, hard to hear that. Why are you talking about me? Yeah, like, Mom, what's up? What but you, you have happen? to know what greatness comes that yeah. right. It's like imagine how LeBron James feels. Like how many people like a lot of people love him, but a lot of people hate him as well. Yeah just they don't even know the guy right exactly so imagine like a because they're judging a book by its cover right imagine a bunch of people hating you and not even knowing you exactly and if you cared about that (laughs) that can be very well the person will only care if they have a lack of self-love yeah 100 percent. and there's people that's famous that is like that Mm -hmm. that's why they commit suicide or they go to drugs or whatever have you it's just like I'm, I I want to live life, but why can't I live life without any judgment? Yep. You know? Like, mm-hmm. That's a hard thing to come with. With this, the internet, you know, and the I know people. this generation. Yeah. But it's all the tests. Yo, this generation, man. <laughs> Technology, <laughs> everything. Let me tell everybody something. Have you, okay, have you guys, like, observed around your surroundings that... When you see people, they're just like this. Yeah. Stuck on their phones. Like, you know, sometimes when um, I'm hardly on social media, sometimes unless I'm posting. But if I'm active a lot on Messenger, it's because I have group chats from the modeling agencies and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm trying to get back there. But, you know, people don't understand that. For you to step into the industry, you need to invest in yourself first. 100%. Before you get discovered, because people go with this mentality that, oh, you went to a fashion show, okay? So you're already getting paid? No. (laughs) No, it's not that easy. That part. You got to build yourself. You got to learn how to do um, the comp cards first. And then you got to get your name out there. Because if people don't know you, how are you going to get... Um, you know, got it out for a brand or yeah. you know for a job. Yeah, you know it, it's hard work. So I think after like my second or third show, um, one of my family members was telling me like, "Oh, you're doing too much," and I'm like, "Doing too much? No, I'm trying to do what I want to do, and this they is where I feel doing good." Too much. You're telling me they're not doing enough, right? Like, <laughs> hello, if you're not doing, if you're not doing good for you, and you're not doing what you want to do, yeah. then. That's your problem, but right. I'm going to take care of me always, you know? Right. It's just something that they can't see themselves doing. Yep. So that's why they put whatever they can put on you. It, yeah. It's so sad, yo. It's so... It is, and that's why... But it has to get to the point where you have to find it comical. Like, this shit is funny. Like, I'm above this. Like, and then you I You have think, to be above it. Yeah. Because they you put you to, above it. You have to. Like, if you're going to put me there, then I'm just going to have to... <laughs> be in that spot like <laughs> i'm still like the people who understand will and be and then they'll say things like to push your buttons yeah. like you know to get that side of you again yeah oh, like, oh no, that part don't push that button because you know i was really quick to go from one to a hundred yeah that's a dangerous so button. now when they're trying to push that <laughs> button like my face will start getting red but yeah. my eyes will tell you don't fuck with me yeah. don't fuck with me because you know i'm peaceful but <laughs> the peaceful ones are 
the most craziest ones. Not craziest, Not but... Not crazy, but... They, 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 people don't understand that they have a side, They just too. think that we're going to be naive and yeah. take their shit. Like, no, there's I'm a, really scared of my limit. crazy side, like... There's a limit. Like, yeah, don't cross my boundaries. I don't, I, don't, I don't want that guy to come out. I really don't. I don't ever want him to come out. Like, I keep him... Even if a drama comes my way, like you're still dealing with this guy. You're not dealing with that. Yeah. Because you don't want to deal with that guy. That guy is. Scared. But are you that type of person that do you feel when drama or problems are coming? 100%. To prepare yourself? Yeah. I know, you? I know how to move out of the yeah, room. Definitely, definitely. I know how to. Like, I've gotten myself out of a lot by reading that and leaving. Just don't say nothing. Or tell who you need to tell and remove myself. Yeah. And every time I did that, I get a phone call after somebody got shot, something happened. Oh my God. I swear, like, I every time, like, <clears throat> a couple of weeks, or like, maybe like a month or two ago, we're at a bar with my boys. And I'm like, oh, the energy in here is not it. <laughs> Everybody's drinking, they're cool and they're having fun. And, but something was telling me, like, bro, yeah, leave. something's not good. And out of nowhere, I put my drink down. I was like, yo, I'm out, guys. It was like, all right, we catch you later. Soon as I turned the key in my door. Something happened. My homegirl called me, was like, yo, check on your friends. Somebody just got shot at the bar. And I'm like. Damn. Like, I literally felt it. So I called on my boys. Nobody's picking up. Now I'm panicking. Then one of my boys picked up. And they was like, nah, it was somebody else. He got shot right where you were parked at. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I get that. I I get that all the time though. All the time. And I That's feel like it stems from me dealing with my father's death that early. Like I always like was aware now. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's just an energy. Like I've done that a lot of times. Like I'll go to I went to the club one time with my boys and as soon as I walked in, my energy said that guy over there with the blue jacket. It's going to mm-hmm. be the guy you have a problem with by the end of the Don't night. Don't you feel intuition that tells yes. you, like, that person? Yeah. Is. So or I like- literally, like, I knew it, so I stayed away from him the whole night. And at the end of the night, why did he get up? All my boys are sitting in front of me, mind you, because I already know. So I'm sitting behind my boys. Like, all my boys are in front of me. <sighs> he stands up and starts pacing right in front of me oh. and just starts looking at me like, like, what's up? And I'm like, I knew it was going to be. Oh, hell no. <laughs> like, but I can't tell people this shit because people would be like, oh, you fucking crazy. Like, yeah. no, it's really a thing. Like, I I don't know. I've saved myself. I saved my life. I could have saved other lives if I would have re- acted on it. But I could have been like, oh, it's deep. It's deep. Like, that shit, that energy shit is deep. It is. Yeah. And the more you like read about it and learn about it, but actual learn from yourself and the mm. patterns, like what you used to do, what you used to accept yeah. in others. Like I'm very forgiving person, but I was too much of a people pleaser. Yeah. Cause I was also <clears throat> scared of abandonment. Mm. Like I grew up in a home with two parents, but at the same time it was absent parents because they were worry on survival mode you know yeah. to try to have for the house try to take care of the kids you know mm. i think the spanish community a lot of them that were like um raised in the 70s and you know around the area yeah um they had that mentality that the discipline was like more like hitting and yeah. and spanking like you don't i don't like that, era? that no i, I don't like that era that. I grew up in that show and I seen it. <laughs> and no, I don't agree. But for You're some, creating a bully in your kid. I, you. Yeah, but <clears throat> I don't think the spankings were for girls. Like, I can't, like, the spankings shouldn't be for girls. Girls or boys? No, boys definitely. Why? Because, like. Why not take what? <clears throat> Why not take away their what they like to do and just punish them in the rooms and to write something over that's and over? That's not enough. That's a punishment. It's not enough for boys. Yeah, that's it has something. To. It's enough for girls because they like their but Barbies. But that's how society and, made it look like, though. Yeah. If you look at it. But I didn't. I never had to whoop any of my kids. I didn't. Like my kids are except my little my baby girl. She's bad as fuck. 
bad? Yo, no. Oh, is she bad? She's terrible. Like, she's she's not. Wait till uh, she grows up. No, she is terrible. I I can't even get to know. She's the most prettiest, cutest girl in the world. But she's, Eva. She, yeah, she's she's she, but she's only bad with her mom. Mm. She gives her mom a lot of headaches. Headaches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Girls so. are tend to be stronger with their moms. Yeah. Yeah. You got a girl or boy? Um, I got a daughter. Oh. Um, you forgot for a minute? No, nah, no. Nah. How many you got out there? You left one in the military. One, that's it. No, nah, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he left one in Iraq real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I got one daughter. That's my baby girl. I got one daughter. How old is she? She's six. Oh, uh, she's little. Yeah. Six. How old are your kids? My daughter's 16 and my son's 11. Nice. I thought you had three. No, three. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? No. <laughs> I think that's the energy telling me that another yeah. one is coming soon. I think so. Yeah? Probably. No, I'm not dating nobody, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> In the near future. <laughs> no, I would like more kids, though. Yeah? How I'm many like kids you want? Mom. I don't know. I always wanted a big family. Yeah. So when you were young, like when you said, I want kids, how many kids did you want? If things could have went your way. Uh, I was thinking from three to eight. Yeah. How about you? So I didn't want any. Um, <laughs> no, I got exactly what I wanted. I One wanted kid? a daughter. Oh. You, I remember I got cracked on in high school for the football team. They were like, oh, you don't, you don't, I don't want no girl. I want a boy. So if you want a girl, that's great. I was like, damn, like, why is, what's the difference? Exactly. Why did you want a girl? Oh, girls are de- girls are good for fathers. Since I they didn't change have fathers. my mother growing up some. in a I good way. A some, yeah, some. Say it again. Since I didn't have my mother growing up, I want a daughter. Mm. Oh, yeah. gotcha, hundred percent. I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, I think some dads don't understand that a girl's role model is the dad. Mm. The mom is important, but more importantly is the dad because yeah. depending how the relationship is, is how she's going to attract the men in her life. Mm. Yeah. That's why I always try to like, I always try to show my daughter what a man should be. My daughter's 21. Yeah. So and you're talking about her like she's little. No, I got two though. Oh, okay. Okay. Got, okay. Trust me. I didn't, <laughs> I even ran down the line. So <laughs> I got a 21 year old, but I always try to show her, like, I try to do things that, like, make her always say, like, damn, I remember my dad did this. Like, you better start doing stuff like this, or you're not mm-hmm. living up to the standard. Like, you know, like on Valentine's Day, when she was in high school, like, I'll bring, like, big teddy bears, flowers, and, you know, Aww, that's cute. Yeah, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, um, I cashed after like a hundred dollars. I was like, "Go get your feet and nails done." She was like, "Oh, thanks, Dad." You know, Aww, I was like, "Yeah." That's nice. So the guy you choose yes. better love you enough to do yeah. certain things like that. You know, to be like that or yeah. more like that. Yeah, a hundred percent. So yeah. if you don't see those certain traits, he's not. He doesn't love you because Daddy loves you. So mm-hmm. somebody better love you more than what Daddy loves you. Yeah, which will never happen. But nobody will ever love her more. Don't than be that jealous, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> You want grandkids? Um, I'm not there yet, so don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for some reason, like, I don't want my daughter to have a kid, but I want a grandkid. Why? I don't know. I just want a kid that's... going to be a grandpa already? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the coolest grandpa on the earth. <laughs> I want to be papa. <laughs> uh, absolutely. So, you were where were you born? I was born here, Springfield. Springfield, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was born here too, bro. I, was, I wasn't. You was born in Puerto Rico? Yeah. And then, you know. Yeah. And then my mom moved here when I was two years and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Yeah, we lived in Holyoke. Ugh. I remember them days. My dad used to drive by. High Holyoke Street. was wild back in yeah, the day. Yeah, I used to see the prostitutes in the corner. Yeah. I was like, what are those ladies doing? So me as a little girl, I had imagination. You know, mm. my dad used to drive this, like, Chevy car. So yeah. I used to think I was in a boat and, like, in my own imaginary world. <laughs> because when you actually see the surrounding, there was yeah. prostitutes in the, in the, on the corner. 
And then there was drug dealers, you know. Oh, wasn't life like a movie back in the day? Yeah. Yo, outside. Like, like pe- These kids say they outside. You know, y'all kids are not outside. No, they're not. Out, yo, like back in the day. You remember? I don't know if you guys did this, but um, he's a, he's a kid. Though. So he doesn't know. No, I have my uncles used to hang out in the hood all the time. So they were like way older, like older, older. Yeah. So I was like, I got a kind of image of what it was like. It was like, there. it was fun. When they it used to open the fire hydrant. Oh my God. Yo. I didn't think anybody would Yo. say that on this podcast. That shit was the vibe. Yo, we used to open the <laughs> fire hydrant in the North End downtown. No, Yo. we used to open it right there on Elm Street, that block, that That's, empty. Yeah. That shit burned down. What yeah. yo? Open the fire hydrant. So still still Y'all don't know nothing there. about that, bro. <laughs> no, you, yo, nah, the police I'm, wouldn't even mess with us, really? yo. Yo, nah, I did that like, like one time, so at least I can say it. You did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You one we time. you can sit on the couch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are games that you guys remember from your childhood? Um, what is it? Uh, yeah, I remember man. the girls playing hopscotch, um, hide and seek, um, red light, green light, red light, green light, um. <clears throat> They don't even play hide and seek. Y'all no ever play four square? No, hide and seek, remember? Like yeah. after the lights turned down. Hell yeah. What? That, then that's when it was hide and go get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh my nah, God. life was fun back then. Like, oh it my was. God. It's like, like it seemed like everybody there. was outside. Yes. It was like people were always outside. And now they're more on social media. Yeah. And, you know liking or oh i wish i was like that person like yeah. no love yourself how you are come outside we need an outside day yeah no shooting you remember no the block fights, parties the block parties oh my gosh yo. i remember like, that shit Holy the limbays like where's the where's the limbe lady yeah, at? No <laughs> lady. where's the <laughs> limbe <laughs> lady <laughs> yo <laughs> she used to have the limbays the coconut limbays the pineapple i have a lady that the does cherry limber. you ever had a limbe yeah yeah the cup with yeah. yeah oh my god do you turn it upside I down i have a lady that doesn't look really good yeah no, I, don't see any I need a cherry one it's like the spanish that's fruit. my favorite yeah hey can they pass yeah the coca that's so, who say that again you ever heard of that the can no. can they pass can they pass oh can yeah, pass? yeah 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 it's like um this little green ball but when you open you crack it open oh it's so it like- look like jelly Jelly, yeah, yeah. And you I, suck it and then you just. Like my mom used to eat those things. Oh, I used to be like, oh, it's just so, you know, anything your mom used to eat back in the day was just like. I, they're not. I'm not a fan of it. I'm more of those things look like just so disgusting. Palcha. What? Where? What are? What is that? Palcha? No, the green thing inside of there. What? What was that? Like an eyeball or something? No, nah, it's a <laughs> piece of fruit. It's, it's a fruit, yeah. stringy fruit. Mm-hmm. Did it? Was it chewy? Was it like? It was it's soft. like slimy on the outside, and then inside is just a seed. So good. Yeah, yo, know, I good, never though. had one of those in my life. Yo, it's good. I thought it was a grape the first time. I was like, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> is it hard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like nut with like gooey fur. See, that's usually why. when summer. <laughs> that's exactly why. Summer is around, that's exactly why I didn't want it. I knew it was something like that. Just see them in the Spanish stores. Yeah, yeah. Like food zone too. I used to eat boquitas. Boquitas? Yeah. Oh, they're good. They used to be better back in the day, though. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. But the, you know, back in the day, everything was better. Yeah. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Everything has changed. Even music. <laughs> <laughs> what you listening like, to? Like, come on. There's no good soul music out there. Uh, what you listening R&B. to nowadays? Nowadays? Everything. Who's, yeah. R&B. Who's your favorite Spanish. artist? Spanish. I don't have a favorite because I listen to everything. Yeah. You can't have a favorite now. Yeah. What about you? I mean, back then, I would tell you Usher, uh, you know, Backstreet Boys. And the back, you look like a Backstreet and... Girl. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, or NSYNC, OMG. You used to have the posters on your wall? Yep. No, I used to have more Usher, Tyson the model. Yeah. And Genuine. And... See, he don't know about that. Ooh, genuine? No, the posters on the wall. Nah, I'm not. Nah, he's not on that era. (laughs) Who was on my wall? Little Kim, that little Kim, Kim, that little Kim album. I was a freak though. That's why she, (laughs) when Little Kim had her legs open and had the little thing on, yeah, Little Kim. Mm I I have I had a lot of females, obviously female. I have Foxy Brown up there. Who's your famous crush? Famous crush. Somebody that's famous that if you could be with them or anything, like, who's your famous crush? 
Me. Wow. You? You're your famous crush. Yeah, I am. <laughs> me, myself, and I, because I never thought of other. No? No. There's nobody famous that you just like. I mean, I, mean, like I like artist. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> like an um, artist or like an actor or. Not really. Nobody? No. I think I'm weird. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> I think everybody has some. Size. What about you? Um, That's the weird couch. Forget it. No, 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 no. Do you We're have just a, different? Do you have a famous <laughs> crush? I was thinking about it. I had to like really think about it. You had to really think about it. Yeah, because I actually, if I could pick, nah, I, I can't pick it. Well, no, Cardi B. <laughs> he sees I like the, the energy of the female, like the yeah. um, Erica Badu, like Erica Badu's energy, see? Lauren Hill energy. Yeah, yes. I'm good. That's, see, yeah. okay, yeah, nice. Me, um, I think I have famous crushes like different eras because I told you I'm like 15 years older than you. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> Which one? Um, do you remember Foxy Brown, the real yes. Foxy Brown, yes. not the fake? No, no it's not she's fake, but. Not the rapper, the real Foxy Brown. She was like from an uh, actress in the old movies. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. So that was a freak when I was like a kid, like three, four years old. Oh, That's you were terrible. a miracle. What the hell is that? A horny ass. <laughs> <laughs> How you say it? Yeah, I was as a kid. That was sad. Be, be Rocco? That was purity? Huh? That was purity? Before puberty. OMG. Yeah. Like, it was bad from the gate. That's terrible. <laughs> you admit that. You were a bellaco. <laughs> that sounds like a bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> you no, it just means a horn dog. A horn dog? You ain't nothing but a horn. All right, so it's Foxy <laughs> Brown. Then I would have to say, um, I was about to say Megan and Stallion. <laughs> Definitely oh, not Megan and Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Good. Mm-hmm. And now, I don't think nobody. Yeah, nobody now. I can't think of nobody now. No. Yeah, Foxy Brown and Megan Good. That was it. There were some good choices. Yeah. yeah. I have to show you a picture of Foxy Brown now. Yeah. <clears throat> I never knew there was another one. Huh? <laughs> I never knew there was another one. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? What's what you got going on nowadays? What's up with life? Um What's life I mean, liking for you? What's life, life like like What's life lifing for you right now? Life is lifing for me right now. Art. Art. Yeah. Yeah. I've been working on an inventory so I could do the, well, I don't know if I should say it because then. I don't no, know don't say it. I'm in the storage. Something. <laughs> yeah. Because when I tell everybody my plans, they're going to be like, we're yeah. distracted now so he can't get it ready. Uh-oh. Yeah, I feel you. I'm the same way. Well, remember, even if you stay silent, the distractions are always going to be there. So you need to mm-hmm. learn how to maneuver through that. That part. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. What about you? What you got going on? Me? Well, that project that I need to fly to Florida in July. You need me to go with you? Huh? You need me to go? You need me my camera guy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's more like a, it's going to be a, like four days auditioning for different things. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, I think you were telling about but. Was that the email that you were telling me about that time? Remember you hit me no, up? No, it's not that email. Oh, okay, okay. Remember I told you that I went to audition to Enfield? Yeah. Well, I applied for um, modeling and acting. Okay. So they invited me as a callback but to go to Florida. Uh-huh. So that's where four days we're going to be prepping and auditioning for different things. So before you come famous, can I get you to sign a contract with me? So, I can, so I can put you in my movie? Okay. Because I don't want you to get too big, and then you'll be like, you know, I can't do that, Chris. <laughs> no, that's a but little... I'm hoping, I'm praying that it's going to be good. And then... It will be. I just want to save a little bit more to get it back into the modeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Y'all got any um anything else y'all want to talk about? No. Any questions for me? You? What you got going on? Oh, uh, what I got going on? What you don't have going on? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, the big, well, it's a lot of big projects right now. Two of the biggest projects is the movie, um, the casting call April 6th. 
So if you guys are interested in acting, looking for models, actresses, actors, um, April 6th, we're doing a big casting block party where they're going to be reading the scripts of the movie, having some food, having a little mingling, and then auditions. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And then May 3rd, the Real Creatives of Springfield Season 1, we're going to be doing a release party for that. Mm. So, yeah, we got some things going on right now. That's interesting. Yeah. So everybody stay tuned. Yeah, it's another episode of the Juice Box Podcast. What inspired you to make the movie? What inspired me to make the movie? Honestly, I have a lot of movies. I have a lot of ideas. Like, I always have ideas in my head that I want to, like, I just want to show that, like, I feel like I don't want to hold anything in, right? So every idea that I have, I want to bring it to life. Right. right. So I have a lot of movies in my head, and I think the world will enjoy them. So <clears throat> this movie in particular, it's more of, like, getting the ball rolling. Like, this is probably one of the more simplest movies that I can execute in order to get in the realm. It's like going to the gym, right? Like, you can't go to the gym and lift the biggest weight. You got to start with the small ones, right. right? So this is my small one in order to build the bigger muscle for the main movie that I want to shoot. Okay. Like, there's a main movie, right? But I can't go in shooting that main movie. Like, I need to get my feet wet. I got to do cardio. I got to lift light weights before I start doing the big things. So... This is just like lighting a fire under my ass and saying, get it done. Right. Right. Um, I feel like it's in my budget and in my control to be able to execute this one. 